Hey everybody. Um, if you could, if you're watching this, jump on Zoom. Um, it's kwdentonlive.com. If nobody jumps on the Zoom, then this is going to be a short lesson. I really just want to show you a couple of things that I learned on the consumer app. In case you weren't uh, aware, your consumer website, your consumer app, and command are all tied together. There's also a landing page you might not have realized for your consumer app. So um, I'm going to show that to you right now. Right. So I'm in on Jesse's right now because I want to show everybody what it looks like. Where's your consumer app link? Let me show you. If you will come into command, click the red box and go down to consumer. And then if you go over to site and landing, or site and app settings, that's the, I can read. Then we're gonna go to URL. This is your app URL. A lot of people have been using this just to send out their branded app, but I wanna show you something. If you copy that and hit paste right here, it's actually a landing page and it's pretty cool looking. So it has it branded to you. It has the places to get it, or they can even put their phone number in to get the link. It has a video all about the app. It has lots of um, key features on it. And this is hooked into your website and your command. So if somebody signs up on the app, you're gonna be able to find them. To test this, what I did was I signed up under Jesse this morning on, on my app. And so when I go into her command and I go under contacts, here's a new one as well. If you wondered who all signed up for your app, here's how you find out. If you go to filters and you go to branded to me right here at the bottom, and click yes and hit apply. These are the people who have signed up and branded, branded the app to you. So I found myself. Here's a couple of things you can do. So on my app, I have it branded to Jesse and I have saved searches. I don't know if y'all can see that. Nope, it's gonna glitch. Okay, and down at the bottom, there's a heart and it says saved. Okay, so um, that's where my saved searches are that I have um, saved. But if you want to go in and save a search for them, right here where it says saved searches, I'm gonna click on that and create a saved search. So I'm gonna create one for me on my app from Jesse. I'm gonna call it Southridge. I love looking up Southridge just in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> okay, Southridge. Now there's a couple, so I'm gonna go with this one. Might not find anything. I may have to, oh, let's see. Looks like I can do more than one. There we go. I did both. That way, if there's a different sections, I can do a minimum and maximum price. I can do it by the map so that I can click on different places if I wanted to do that. Um, has parking. You can even do price reduced in seven days. Guys, I'm not in Metris. I'm in your consumer app, which is hooked to command, and I'm setting it up so when they log into their app, they can see it. So I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to hit create. So now the save search is here, but when I go into my app, I may have to turn off my back, my background. Down at the bottom, there is now the save search that I just did here in command is on my app. Isn't that neat? Okay, now let me show you something. I'm clicking on the save search in my app and looking around 
because I want to show you something. Okay, so I just went on the app, clicked on the save search, and I clicked on a couple of houses. Maybe it might take a couple of minutes to, to populate on here. But when I clicked on these houses, what it should do is inside of command, it will show that I have clicked on the houses and which ones I've clicked on. Let me refresh and see if it comes up. There we go. Look, I clicked on a bunch of houses. I can see that I've viewed them. You can in here, click on what they saw. And see what they've been looking at and what they've hearted. So your app, your command, your consumer website and the landing page are all hooked together to help you see, and look, I even hearted, I hearted this house. And so now it doesn't just say I viewed it, it shows that I hearted it, okay? So you can, inside of command, set up a safe search. You're gonna see the activity, but also watch this. If I come into hers and I click on last visited, look, you can see who has come, gone on your website, who has gone on their consumer app, who has visited all of that hub together at the same time. Okay, so now I can see that. But I wanna show you something else as well. If you use this domain right here and you go to GoDaddy, how do you wanna, you wanna drive people to that easier, right? So you could go in and say, KW Denton app, I don't know, whatever your branding is, go in and buy that URL on GoDaddy and have it point to right here. So you can say, you wanna download my app? That's easy, go to kwdentonapp.com and click on the app store and it's gonna come branded to you, $10 a year. Just saying, it's pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another thing. Your guide builder. Oh, by the way, if somebody goes in and downloads the branded app to you, I don't know if I mentioned this, I, I want to real quick. They put it in your database. Jessie never added my personal email to her database. I did that when I branded the app to her. So saves you time on having to enter them. You can see what they're searching. You can see the last time they were on so you know who to call and check on because they're actively using the app. Pretty neat follow up there. So there's guides. There's guides in both your, your consumer app and your website. I just wanna show you real quick. So there's buying and selling guides. You want to, you want to, address these because one, I know every agent is slightly different on their steps and you can add these steps, you can take them out, you can edit them. You just wanna come in and check on these. I saw a video of somebody today, especially right now with um, showing your home during COVID. They made a screen on here and put it on. Why, why reasons you don't need to wait for COVID to end to sell your home that kind of thing, uh, steps you can take to keep yourself safe during showings, anything like that that you wanna do, you can add, uh, but you can come over and make sure that these are your words and how you want it to happen. As they're going through on their app through the home buying or the home selling process, they'll be able to mark these as complete and it'll move the slide away and scoot up the next slide. So it's another way to keep in touch and keep them um, abreast on what's, what's going on. So you can add a step right here. Okay. You can title it, selling your home during COVID. 
here are some tips to stay safe during COVID while still showing your property. Go to the CDC website, get some stuff on that. It's gonna want an image, let's go look. Maybe hospital hall, hallway. We can go to images and we can say, you know what? Pick which one we like. That one's kind of cool looking. Let me do this one real quick. Oops, shouldn't have clicked on it. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna save image as. Got it. Go into my guide builder, browse. I think I saved it in pictures. Probably should have paid attention to that. <laughs> Where did it go? There it is, hospital hallway. Whatever image you decide. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, give me a second. Do this one. Try that again, save image as JPEG. All right, it's on my desktop, got it. Where's this one? There we go. All right, continue. Okay, and now when I go in here, I can actually use the workspace here. So this is where I would put the top CDC's uh, best recommendations on showing your home during COVID. And you just list them out there. See how it looks professional. It's got a nice neat little thing. And then if I wanted to put this more to the top because you don't really want to talk about it after closing, maybe we say right here, showing your home and selling your home during COVID great little resources on the app that help you stay in touch with your clients, keep them up to date on what's going home, going on. Uh, Michelle, I am recording this and it will be on our um, KWU Denton Live under YouTube in a little bit. Okay. Um, let's see. So now we've, we've shown that. One thing I do want to uh, bring up under introduction here Read through this. Everyone says Paul. I'm not sure who Paul is, but Paul will not be providing insights on each step. So make sure, I haven't found this in any of the guides yet, but uh, you're gonna wanna go in and change that because that, that's not right. So, all right. Guys, this was just a quick little thing I thought I would Pop on. I didn't want to uh, lose this information and wanted to show you how, how immersive your consumer app, your consumer app landing page, your consumer site, and your command are all integrated together for a seamless feel for your client. If they're on your consumer website and then go on to the app, it has the same look and feel. So it feels like one branded cohesive um, site. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. I'm going to stop sharing. Um, have a good day.